have a murder um uh,
his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys and the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. Thy rod is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thy prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my dear Lord. My cup runneth over me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Not in the line of your sight. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, even thou hast formed the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Turn it man back to the dust and say, Turn back, O children, come in. For a thousand years in thy sight, but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch. Thou doest sweet men away. They are like a dream, like grass, which is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourish, and it renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. But we are consumed by Thy anger. By thy wrath we are overwhelmed. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our sacred sins in the light of thy confidence. For all our days passed away under thy wrath. Our years come to an end. Like sun. The years of our lives are three score and ten. Even by reason of strength, four score. Yet their span is but four and four. They are soon gone. Considers the power of thy anger and thy wrath according to the fear of thee. Teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, our love. Have pity on thy servant. Sanctify us in the morning with thy steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as thy hands lifted us as many years as we have seen evil. Let the work be manifest through thy servant and thy glorious power through your 
2022, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Green Hill Baptist Church, with my sacrament, for yours truly is the pastor. The Reverend Dr. Brown Foster will be featuring. The family has outlined a beautiful program for us to go by. I ask that you please give the family your respect by being obedient and going by the program that they have provided for us. Got on the program first, Selection Plenial Baptist Church Choir. We got scripture reading Old Testament, Minister Derek Christ, New Testament, Minister Samuel Williams, prayer of comfort yours truly, then a solo by Evangelist Garvinson, then remarks, family has two minutes, please, please be obedient, family and friends. Then acknowledgement, Sanders and Thompson, Mark Jerry Stan. Solo, Miss Madame Hill. Prayer, the Reverend Dr. Janice Kent, New Ashley Baptist Church, Somersville, South Carolina. And then following that, the words of comfort by the pastor of New Ashley Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Robert also. We would like to encourage this family to look to the heels on what comes to you. All our help comes from the Lord. And we have to remember, I know it's hard to give up a loved one. We have to remember that <coughs> Sister Brenda wasn't out of the key. She was just a gift from God. Amen. Amen. And her time here on earth has been completed. All right. Now she rested, waiting for the return right. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said he's coming back, and I believe he's coming back. Mm -hmm. I believe he's coming back. He said he's coming back to the church without spot or rank. So it behooves all of us to be ready. Mm -hmm. Because he is coming back. And we got to be the same day. Yes. Sister Brenda. Hey. Well, I ask you now to follow as you as you appear on the program. Please, ma'am, please, sir, come follow. <laughs>
chapter of the ninth and the tenth verse. It says, The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, yeah. and strongholds in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you, for you are, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Good afternoon, family. Good afternoon. God bless the Lord in this house. Amen. Amen. John, the 11th chapter. John, the 11th chapter, starting at verse number 21. It reads thusly, Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now in the resurrection at the last day. Then Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection yes, and the life. Yes, he who yes, believes yes. in me, though he may yes. die, he shall live. Yes. And whosoever lives and believes in me yes. shall never die. Yes. Do you believe this? Yes. Yes. Bless everyone under the sound of 
my weak voice, bless them name by name and one by one. Amen. According to their need. Amen. You know more about what they need than I know to ask you for. Yes. But I know, Father, if you bless them according to their needs, they will truly be blessed. These and all blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. And for his sake. Amen. Amen.
for life can lead us together, can lead us to greater happiness with the Lord and our love once in heaven. At this time, at a time like this, when sorrow invades the heart and home, it means so much to have loving family and friends. Thank you for each kind expression of sympathy, which will always be remembered. May God keep each of you.
a difference. Even yeah. though she didn't say the right oh, thing, yeah. which she didn't do right, but none of us are perfect. We thank you, dear God, for everything that you did, dear God. But Lord, you made a difference and she made an impact while she was here. And I thank you, dear God, for allowing her to come down to Somerville. Her smile, dear God, was contagious. Even when she didn't say much, you watched her smile. And the Lord said the same thing about us. While we still here yet among the living, we need to tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. As I say at home church, some of them. Amen. Good afternoon, family. Good afternoon. I do give honor to the Spirit of Christ. To give honor to my to my ribs, it's my wife, it's the Foster, uh, to uh, Pastor Farr, to Dr. Wilson, moderator, and to all the other public associates. I do greet you all in the masses, in the majestic, in that wonderful and ever so sweet, sweet name of Jesus. <laughs> we are gathered here today. Uh, what may be an unfortunate set of circumstances. Sadness and heart. Yeah. But the Lord, the Lord has given us an opportunity, yes. another chance to come Amen. together Amen. as one body of baptized believers. Amen. I see this as an opportunity for us to the fellowship, one body in Christ. While we're here, again, for the sadness of heart, the Lord saw beyond, beyond this moment, All right. this time of sadness, and to the day of rejoicing, an opportunity for us to celebrate the life of the one that we all come to know, as you call her, a Jew. Amen. We call her down the son of the Jew. <laughs> and today, today, I'm honored and, and also sad as well um, that I'm standing here before you to uh, to deliver a word of a word of comfort to the family. Because there's nothing that we can say or do that will change 
what we are experiencing right now. Amen. Right. Sister Judy has lived her life. Mm -hmm. She has lived according to what God has purposed in her heart. And for that, uh, the lives that she has touched along the way, we ought to give God thanks, we ought to give him honor, and we ought to give him glory Amen. for the life of this servant and the personality of one Brenda, Denise Kind. Let's give the Lord a hand praise for the right. <laughs> Today, it, it is a, an opportunity now for me to, to bring forth the word uh, from the Lord. And again, I, I do want to, to extend uh, or just to, to let you know that we in some of it, we are, we are truly going to miss this, this jewel. We are truly going to miss her. And uh, she has blessed us in a manner in which God saw our need. Yeah. And we are thankful for her, and, and we are we're going to express <coughs> our, our condolences to you, um, to the kind of family. And may you find comfort in knowing that the Lord, and I, and I know, I, I know, your hearts are heavy. And I know that there will be tears falling, not just today, but from the days forward. Amen. But I say to you, to you this morning, this afternoon, that look to the Lord, Amen. trust Him, and He will give you right. the kind of Say comfort that. That. that only He can provide. Amen. And how does He do that? Time. Amen. He gives us time. Amen. Time to heal. Time to come to an understanding. Yes, he does. Time to come to know who He is and the purpose that he has for each and every one of our lives. This afternoon, if you will, journey with me now to the, if those of you who have your, your weapons with you, and that is the Word of God, the Bible. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And we will begin at the very first verse. Here you find these words. But after the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. But for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. But when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as to veil upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, but that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. And from these passages of scripture, I deposit this thought within your spirit, ready or not. Right. Ready. Ready or not. Let us pray. Most gracious Father, today I come down in this posture of humility, O oh Lord, and still realizing that in and of myself, O oh God, I'm not worthy to call upon your name. But it's only and always because of your Son Jesus Christ, the one who suffered and died upon Calvary's cross. Oh God, you have given me a brand new start. Another opportunity, oh God, to tell a dying world about a living Savior in Jesus. Today now, oh God, as I stand in the presence of this family, I pray, oh Lord, now that you will hide me behind the cross. Yes, sir. Let self decrease. Let your spirit increase and have your way in me and through me. Oh Lord, I pray now that as your word go forth, I realize that it will never, ever return to you void that will always accomplish the mission it intended. I pray, Lord, now that you allow these spiritual ears to hear what the Spirit is about to say to the church. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God, now, I pray, oh, Lord, that you will move self. Yes, Let your Spirit dwell and rest within yes, this vessel yes. so that those who are hearing today under the sound of my voice will know that they have heard
fruit from heaven, that you are still God and beside you there is none other. Yes. Now, O God, may the words of my mouth and the oh, meditation yeah. of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yes, yes. O God, my strength and my redeeming. Yes. yes. And the people of God say amen. 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 Thank you, you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, you Lord.
according to the, to the text here this morning, this afternoon, the Apostle Paul was speaking to, to believers concerning the rapture. Mm -hmm. uh, and although the, the word rapture is not written within the Bible, wow. it is a biblical doctrine, it is a belief, brothers and sisters, that is evident that Christ shall return and he's going to gather up, not everybody, gather up those who believe. I said, those who believe that are still living here in the earth. Not everybody is going to go back with the Lord. Only those who believe and those who know who he is. And while there is no, no difference today, folks still want to know about the times and the seasons. When is he coming back? If anyone tells you that they know when he's coming back, I encourage you to run. Run very fast in the opposite direction. No man knows. No one knows. Paul says, don't get caught up into the worldly mindset. You know very well that the day, that the day of the Lord it surely will come. It's going to come, and not with with bells and whistles. Yeah. It's not going to happen. That it's not going to be with alarms, if you will, but like a thief in the night. Absolutely. Like a thief in the night. Yeah. While the Lord will come like a thief in the night, he is not coming to the church as a thief. Well. Pray with me now. Amen. When I say when I say the church, the church, I'm not speaking about those who claim membership Amen. to a particular building Amen. and which they assemble themselves on Sunday morning, Amen. but to those who are sold out to Christ, Amen. those who've been shown up, been born again, Amen. those who confess with the mouth and believe in the heart that he is who he said he is. Jesus is Lord. This doesn't work for everybody, but that's the church. That is the church. He's not coming back to that church as a thief. He's not doing that. The Bible teaches us that we need to take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let the enemy Play games with your mind. Yes, yes, yes. Don't let the enemy trick you into believing right. that he knows. Yes. Because he doesn't. Yes. Sure, his, the Lord's coming will be swift and surprising. But not for those who are expecting his arrival. Yes. You see, a thief comes unexpectedly. Yes. And to take that which does not belong to him. Does anybody believe that, the, that a thief checks in to see when you're going to be home? So that he can let you know when he's going to show up? And to take what he desires? He doesn't do that. He just shows up. Brothers and sisters, oh, my brothers and sisters, the Lord is coming back and we have to be an apostle to receive him. A thief that definitely comes when you are not expecting him to rob. But the one that I call Jesus. Yeah. He only comes to claim. Yeah. He only comes to those who are expecting his appearance yeah. that belong to him. Yeah. If you belong to him, you're expecting his return. Yeah. You're expecting if we're still on this side of heaven, uh -huh. when the Lord departs from heaven and he parts the clouds, when he comes back, you're expecting that he's going to show up because his word said that he would. And we're looking forward to that great day. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, the one that I call Jesus, he's a friend. He's a friend of mine. He's coming back for those of us who are, who are ready. Yeah. But Paul said in the text, he said, brethren, you are not in darkness. He said that that day should come and overtake you as a thief. Yeah. Because you who believe, yeah. you are the children of the light 
and of the day. You are not of the night, nor are you of the darkness. But when the day of the Lord comes, uh, yeah. you see, I, I can speak for anyone else. Right. Because I'm going to be with the Lord. Yeah. But today, the question still remains at yeah. this hour. Yeah. Will you, uh, I said, will you uh, yeah. be getting ready? Yeah. Yeah. Or will you be ready uh -huh. when the Lord comes back? Yes. You see, the Bible declares that when the Lord comes back, yeah. the Lord himself will descend from heaven right. with a shout. And when he comes back, he's going to take his church out of this very world. Yeah. But in the meantime, you need to get to your house. Yeah. Get to your house. Yeah. Get to your house. Yeah. Whoever you are, yeah. get to your house in order. Yeah. While you can call her on the name of the Lord. Yeah. And while the blood is still running warm That's through your veins. Yeah. You see, the Bible says uh, we need to seek ye the Lord. Uh, yeah. While yeah. he may be found. Uh, call upon the name. Uh, while uh, he is near. Uh, yeah. You see, I believe that the Lord, uh, he allowed me uh, on this Friday afternoon uh, yeah. to purposely stop by her. Uh, this press station, it wasn't an accident. It wasn't an oops. It was a planned thing that the Lord saw right from the very beginning of time. He allowed me to stop by here this afternoon to remind somebody just as on that precise day, on that precise hour, on that precise minute, on that precise second, a oh, a brother, not brother, I'm talking about Sister Judy, Judy, she was ready, whether she was ready or not, the Lord was going to show up, and I believe she was ready, I believe she had a business picture, but I stopped by her to ask somebody, will you, I said, will you be ready when the Lord comes back, somehow the Lord is going to show up, I don't know when, but I know that he will, and I'm glad, I said, I'm glad, it's the afternoon that the Lord He's coming back uh, for a church. Uh, somebody said, uh, well, I spot to uh, over Rico. Uh, he's coming back uh, for a church of uh, perfection. Uh, not because uh, of a man's perfection, but because uh, of a who we are in the body uh, of Christ. Uh, so I stopped by uh, again to remind you, uh, give you your house up. Uh, in the water, well, when the Lord comes back, there'll be no time, no time for you to pack up, no time for you to get on the phone and call somebody, no time, no time for you to get ready, there'll be nowhere to run and nowhere to hide while you still, I said still, have a chance uh, yeah. in this brand uh, new day. Uh, get in your house uh, in order. Uh, you see, the songwriter says, uh, he said, may the work uh, I've done uh, yeah. speak for me. Uh, may the life uh, yeah. that I live uh, yeah. speak for me. Uh, right. Sister Judy uh, lived her life, uh, but you and I uh, were still here. Uh, we gotta live, uh, we gotta live uh, like today uh, is our last day. Uh, we gotta love, uh, we gotta love uh, one another uh, like today uh, is our last day. Uh, we gotta tell uh, somebody uh, about the goodness uh, of Jesus uh, and all, uh, and all uh, he's done uh, for me. Uh, Anybody else but my Lord, he's been good. He's been really good. Somebody said, like the old commercial, the old Tampa Soup commercial, he's been good. Yes, he has been real good. I love the Lord today. Do you? 
him and to the joy of the Lord. These are the blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name and the people of God. Say amen. 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 And amen again. Amen. Give the Lord